Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Bro, to be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gonna ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gonna lose whoever you choose, fam, I'm gonna put up a bit. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. Yo, do me a favor, man. If you're trying to get the easiest and cheapest mutt coins on the market, do your boy a favor and head over to easymutt.com and use the code form for 5% off all your mutt coin needs, man. Whoopsie! What up, though? It's your boy Foreman. We back, man, with another Madden online rank match. Before we get into anything. <laughs> As you can see, hit that subscribe button if you're new, because we on the road to 10K, baby. And you get some of the bad Madden 20 content in these streets. I just made myself so cockeyed right there. But look, got a banger for y'all. So do me a favor. Hit that uh, like button before you start the video. Only take a sec to drop that like. And uh, this was a video that was uh, also... Pulled off the scream, and it was against the Niners. So you already knew what it was. I knew what it was. It was a run heavy bum. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to say, well, just because I'm bad running the bum all the time, that don't mean they're a bum. He had no dots. He is in the top 100. I can't remember where, but he ain't had no dots. He ain't had no dots. He just like, but the good thing about what, what makes the, the Niners elite this year is, especially on the next gen, is that acceleration plays such a huge part in the game. And with that 97 speed and that good acceleration Mozart has, he hits his second gear quicker than probably any other person on Madden. So as you can see, I'm coming out in my nickel, uh, 335. I'm not in my run D, I'm in my cover two, because that's usually how I play strong close. But with that acceleration, he was breaking hella tackles, getting out to the outside. So then I'm like, all right, let me switch it up. Let me get out in my 335 run D. Now, in this video, a lot of y'all going to say, bro, why you ain't go to your 3-4? Because I'm stubborn, cuz. Like, if you run something on me and it work, I'm not going to what's going to fix it. I'm stopping it in that. You know what I'm saying? It's just a stubborn Negro in me, bro. Like, I got to stop it in this formation. And uh, this game, I'm so frustrated, bro. Like, I was on stream. I was cussing a few times. My boy, shout out to my boy, uh, WYO Trio. He had to tell me, relax for him. But, you know, sometimes you just got to let it out. And if you think this game is crazy, wait till the gameplay I got for y'all tomorrow, bro. I want to say probably for the whole week, I got nothing but crazy game of the year bangers. This a banger. Tomorrow I got a banger for y'all. The day after that, I got a banger for y'all when I go up against uh, probably one of the best people on next gen record-wise, and I bop out with them Gigantes against his Packers. That's a game of the year. Like, I'm straight. I'm straight on my grind, man. Um, I'm also streaming way more often as we get. We holding to three right there. I'm streaming way more often on Facebook and on YouTube. My gaming page on Facebook is Form, aka Two Meets Gaming. I'm about to change it though. It's about to just be Form Gaming because I'm done with the eight with the because 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 niggas just made it weird. So I'm about to be streaming on there, bro. We really gonna step up our grind, you know what I'm saying? But uh, here we go. I get the ball first, so I'm gonna try to take the top off the D. I see he's on Bosa, and this has been smart of a lot of players this year. If you are struggling with usering on the next gen, a lot of people have been D-line usering really, really good ability of uh, players, and it's been really, really giving me trouble. They shared in less than two seconds. I had somebody who used uh, Smith on the Packers. He was shedding in less than a second. Um, I might, I want to say that might be the gameplay for tomorrow. I'm not sure, though. But, yeah, though, a lot of people who've been struggling using and have been going to the D-line. Not me, though. 
You already know how I give it up. I'm on that line. I'm on that user. Who nigga? Uh, let me get that. Now they probably don't make that. Yeah, they make that sound. Who am I kidding? So right here, second and two. My goal when I'm streaming is to run as least as possible. Like I'm not, I'm not looking to run and make the games boring because a lot of these games, as I dot him up right there, a lot of these games I have to usually delete when I go up against runners because they be so boring. They run, they run, they run, 30, 15, they run, and then I end up like winning the game, but the game has nothing that'll hold, you know what I'm saying, the viewer, you guys, in the game for less than six minutes. Like you'll get bored just watching somebody kill a whole first half running dive, stretch, dive, stretch. But the good thing about this game this year is it's extremely balanced. So this, this guy was a run bum. And you will see a lot of his yards came after the first hit. Like, running backs still break a ton of tackles. But pursuit angles are so much better on this year's uh, next-gen Madden. So much better. You can see from the gameplays I've been uploading, you haven't heard me really complain about uh, pursuit angles. So, we up 7-3. Everything looking Gucci. I'm in my 3-3-5 three, my three, three, run D out of cover 4. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop being mini stubborn and I'm going to go ahead and run my run D out of 335, of course. And I'm going to try to bag him up and force him to pass. I feel like once I force him to pass, I'll be Gucci. So here you go. He started, then he started doing something really smart. I'll address, as you see, we blow that up in the backfield. So what does he do? Of course, he hurry up and he run again. This is when I told the chat, like, I told the chat before the game started, like, I'm about to have a hell game. Because I had been running through dudes. So I blow that up in the backfield again. So he comes out third and 10. I'm like, okay, he about to finally probably pass it. Go to the play action. I take that away. Go up. Take that away. He throws right at me. And look at this. With Samuel, he mosses three people, bro, and spec catches me on third and long. So that was my verification that Madden DDA is real and this is about to be a hell game because that should have been an interception right there. And then that would have gave me the ball, 7-3. He wasn't stopping me on offense. I would have been Gucci. But after that happened, I already knew what it was. So it is what it is. We come back down. Boom. He hits that second hole, as you can see. Breaks two, three tackles. Picks up a nice chunk of yardage. I was not mad at my run D. My, the stream was more upset than I was about the run D because they wanted me to switch. But no, my stubbornness wouldn't allow me. If, if I lose a game off being stubborn, which y'all know I will. Y'all know I will. Then it is what it is. But I just felt like he was just breaking a lot of tackles. I didn't feel like I was just getting shredded and there was like crazy holes for him to hit. He was just getting a lot of sheds. I mean, broken tackles, falling forward. And I wasn't too much tripping. Like right here, you'll see he goes for two. Why? I don't know. But he goes for two, right? I hit him at the three, and he falls forward. He fell forward three yards, bro, with nothing but blue jerseys around him. So I'm like, all right, cool. I, I knew coming in, like if you, it, sometimes you can feel like I'm about to have a hell game. So you prep yourself prior to. So I prepped myself prior to because I knew what it was. My thing is here, a minute uh, down for it, this, this is nothing. I go down, I dot him again. Cool. Everything is coping steady. I go down here and get a touchdown. I get ball a half, go up 21-11, and now his run deep means, I mean, his running every rip means nothing. I'm able to get out of bounds for Brown. I'm cooking. I'm already in field goal range. Field goals feel a lot uh, easier on here, like you can just kick way further. So right here was my fault. I get a throw Ooh, out of seven. You suck. I picked off. Now I sh I have forty four seconds and two timeouts. I should not have been looking to go deep, but he just wasn't guarding it well enough. I should have hit the end route X on the check down. Got about ten yards. Either got out of bounds and called a timeout. So even though it was some DDA bull crap. As he breaks another tackle and fall forward. 
I just had to eat that because that was on me, man. I shouldn't have did that. As you can see right here, I already know he's going to that same beater. I'm uh past committing, so our zones, my zones don't sink. And boom, Stupid the same play. Dummy. Same pick. I mean, the same play he gets a, um, what did he just get? I get an interception on instead of them giving me a pick. Now, I'm furious in the chat. So, when you angry, what do you do? You play angry. So, I'm about to force this ball up the field. Like, I want 49,000 yards on every pass. So, because when you get mad, you one or two people. You're either the angry blitzer or... You like the, the super daughter. When I get mad, I'm more of a super daughter. Like, I want all my yards back right then and there. I'm not a I'm not the heavy blitzer. Like, like some people, when they get mad, they send in the house to create a turnover. I'm not that dude. But I am the very, very, very angry blitz. I mean, uh, angry passer. Like, I want 90 million yards to, like that first play. Now, I could have very well marched down the field probably and got a field goal if I wasn't so mad and played so smart. Like, right there, I could have just tossed it up to A, but I'm like, no, nah, Henry going to eat. And we end up throwing a pick, and I'm like, ah. I can't be mad at nobody but me right there. But I just feel like when you win it, because at the time, I want to say I was like 26-1. and one. I was on like a, hmm. I forgot what my win streak was at the time. But when you're on a win streak, you can feel when those hell games coming. You can feel it. So I'm like, all right, let me go down here, score a touchdown, and then I'll be Gucci. Like, I, I'm going to get a stop. That's what I kept telling myself. I'm going to get a stop on dude, dot him up, incomplete pass, blah, 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 DDA, you see me with the hands. So right there, like, then he started only rushing, like, one or two, one guy. Dropping everybody back in coverage because he couldn't stop me. He couldn't stop the pass. Derrick Henry was low-key eating well on the check down. He couldn't, he couldn't guard the ends, the corners, crossers, deep balls. Like, he couldn't guard anything. And had I been, had I, like, played more of a ball control game, which I don't think would have been that good of an idea because I had, um, <clears throat> because he was a heavy runner. I don't, like, if you get ball, if you stop me, Heavy running becomes out of the question because you get the ball last and we both eat up a ton of clock. So I don't get that initial stop back. So me, when I want when I go up against heavy runners, my goal is to speed the game up. I don't want to run with you and we both just chewing hella clock. I want to speed the game up. That way, offensively, I can get try to uh, either get up multiple possessions and force you to pass or watch this, watch this. They called, that was an incomplete, bro. I don't, like, that was an incomplete. Our possession called it. I never got touched. And they called that an incomplete, man. Like, I was going crazy in the chat, bro. Which is another reason why I don't like streaming. Because I can get, like, you know what I'm saying, turned. But boom, right here. Tsh, <laughs> hitting with the dot up top. We go up 14, 11. You know what I'm saying? The chat supported me so much, you hear me? And you know what I'm saying? I rock out with the chat. Shout out to the forum squad. I, I need a nickname for everybody who be in the chat when I be streaming. Hey, comment down below a, a nickname for the for the gang, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who be down, who be in my streams faithfully. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got to come up with us a squad name, bro. But also, I will be raiding as a, I don't know what happened right there. But I will be rating from this point on other small YouTubers who are streaming as he falls forward again. But like I said, like it didn't feel like my run D was bad. It just felt like we couldn't tackle and wrap up. And that's when uh, having really good teams is so amazing because you like, especially like the Packers and stuff, people who got that DT who has inside run stuff because he'll shed immediately on inside runs. So a lot of these runs, if I had better teams or block shed guys, would not ever had happened. Because we would have shed it immediately, blew that up in the backfield, and then I would have only had to worry about stretch. But he was running just dive, stretch, dive, stretch, dive, stretch, dive, stretch. Right there, I missed the hole. 
That was my fault. I was banking on the stretch because it was third and six, and he went to the uh, dive and got a decent game. But yeah, so right here, everybody like start run committing. I'm like, nah, because if he if if the one time he pass, I run commit. Oh, I'm gonna be heated. So I'm like, I'm gonna let him eat up clock because I know with four and a half minutes left with his style of running, I'm gonna get the ball. I'm gonna get the ball. So right now he can run to his heart's content. I I feel like I'm gonna get the ball and then I'll be fine. I I don't even feel like he's gonna like he he's gonna score a touchdown at the moment, unless he can start doing what he started doing. He started quick hiking. Like before I can get my D set up and move my guys into place, because that might be one of the one weaknesses about my defense is I do have to put people in certain places. Like right there, he click he quick hikes me, gets a four for one. Before I can get on that safety and bring him down in the box. So that was something he was doing a decent job of. And then I come out and cover one man. You know what I'm saying? Blow that up in the backfield. Even though I feel way more comfortable with the cover four joint. As you can see, I'm bringing people down in the box. He hikes the ball. And ugh, I hit that boy in the backfield. That's when I'm like, okay, I got I to gotta get my adjustments done quicker. But it's not a button. Just like it's a, a run commit button as he cuts right there. He just gone. He gone. Good quick hike by him. Bum. But just like it's a button to uh, run commit, pass commit, to do all these things, there should be a button to bring your safeties in the box. You know what I'm saying? Because show blitz does not always do that. Is it, Do they still have a show blitz button? I know they used to. I know it's baseline. I need to look. Do they got the show the show blitz uh button still? But see, the thing about that is I don't want my deep blues on my corners to press because they're gonna get beat. So I need a button that just for my safeties to come down in the run fit. You know what I'm saying? Make it convenient instead of me having to individually drag people down and get my life run committed away. So right here, 1814. We need that game winning drive, man. I'm gonna find some 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 music to put in. To give it that feel. You feel me? So, he's coming out uh, down 146, I think that was. Cool. I'm going to run that thing. No problem at all. Even coming bringing these guys in the box, that don't mean nothing because I'm not committed to the run. I'm not about to Derrick Henry you to death. I'm finna cook up these Dottoronis as so. Fluff you, Sherman. You 96 years old. So we able to cook up the dot. Cool. I'm, I think, I don't even know if I run the ball again, to be honest with you. And a lot of people are like, well, for him, you got Derrick Henry, Derrique. Why don't you run the ball? Because I'm streaming. Now, y'all know if this was like me just playing the game, locked, well, not, not locked in because I'm still trying to entertain. But if it's me just recording, playing the game, I'll probably mix in and run. But you got to be so interactive with the chat and keep the chat entertained and all that. That I don't really be wanting to just run, 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 run. You feel me? You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Right here I run. Boom. Duck that shoulder. Made you die. And then we just back to it, bro. We back on the grizzly. Trying to cook up this dot and get up out of here with this dub. Now, the goal for me was to run this clock down as much as possible. I didn't have on chew clock <coughs> because I wasn't up. And what I didn't want to happen was I needed to make a last second adjustment, but because I had it on chew clock, I wasn't able to. And that's the thing with chew clock. If you heavy on your adjustments, audibles, you like to look at your play read coverage, it kind of speeds you up and you don't get to make some of those adjustments that you really would like to. So I was just chewing clock, just waiting to hike the ball and just hoping he make a mistake. I know if I score here, as I got a dot right there, blip bloom, and they don't give it to me. He don't get his feet now. So I'm in the chat. I'm telling the chat, like, I'm probably going to lose this game, y'all. You know, you can feel when you're going to take an L, bro, when DDA is just slapping you all in the mouthpiece. Like, you can feel it. So I'm feeling like I'm going to take an L right here. But I'm like, you know what? I can't, I, don't trip. Don't trip. Just keep fighting. Cause that's what this game felt like. It felt like a hell game fight. We.
Remix, dot him up at the corner pie line. You know what I'm saying? I had to make a couple changes so I could pull some different zones and get that ball up top. We get a nice little Donaroni right there. So we kick the FG and we and we goo wop again. We goo wop. So now 32 seconds, even though he has three timeouts, I'm like, he, he can't pass. He doesn't have dots. So I'm Gucci. I know he's going to come out in that single back wide trips, and he's just going to try to spam up that deep ball, even though he only needs three. I could tell by the way he played, he does not have dots. He can't read coverage. So I'm like, I'm Gucci. The one pass he's completed, one pass all game. One pass. So boom, there it go. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I got my boy Karusha Shek Shek back there and Bayard, and we drop it. And Bayard has a interception ability, like pick artist or something. Be an artist, nigga. Pick the ball. So back at square one, trying to get this stop. And my biggest fear is. The deep blues are gonna fail me because the deep blues are next gen or on next gen are not good. So my biggest fear is these deep blues is gonna fail me. So right back, I drop him back again. I'm playing over top and I get I get quick height, y'all. And he look at this. He overthrew it, bro. But I was so angry because I knew I'm like he didn't quick hike me. I can't drop back two. So I'm like, my deep blues might not play how I need them to. And on that, when they didn't. On that, when they completely didn't play it. As you can see, I'm running back with it now. He finally completes his second pass of the game. And I was so irritable. I'm like, all right, seven seconds left. 40, I mean, so yeah, seven seconds left. He has two timeouts. He only needs about 10 yards to get in field goal range. So this is like, this shows you how terrible his dots are. He only needs like 10 yards, bro. And he burns a T.O. No, I burn that T.O. because my camera messed up. I was making my adjustments. And you see, the camera kept messing up. I, I guess I was making my adjustments too quickly. And it wouldn't let me correct the camera. And I had already burned one time out. And I don't know about y'all as he throws it up instead of taking to 10 yards to get. I don't know about y'all, but it messes with my depth perception when that happens with the camera. It messes me up so bad. So we end up squeaking out here with the dub, hella irritated. So I'm going to go by and I'm going to show you guys uh, my record at the time. But man, appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you're a form, nigga. Get back, nigga. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, man. And, uh, nigga form, shut up. Get back to the screen, man. So I can show them my, my record and get out of here. Dang. And I'll get at y'all tomorrow, man. Peace. 26 and 1 at the time.